In this video, we would be solving this question, which says, Can Charlie afford any bundles that give him the utility of 150? In the previous video, we drew this figure, where on the x-axis, you have apples, y-axis, you have bananas. Blue line represented your budget line. Red indifference curve was the equation of the indifference curve that gave Charlie the utility of 150. And red black indifference curve gave Charlie the utility of 300, which had the equation of XA multiplied by XB should be equal to 300. Now the question says, can Charlie afford any bundles that give him the utility of 150? Now for Charlie to afford any bundle, that bundle should lie either on his budget line or below his budget line. Secondly, we want the utility to be 150. So your chosen consumption bundle should lie on red indifference curve segment of red indifference curve that lie below or on the charlie's indifference curve is the one i have highlighted in black so this segment of the indifference curve gives charlie the utility of 150 where these two points this point and this point are on his budget line that means they will exhaust his income so this segment of the indifference curve makes sure that Charlie gets the utility of 150. And since this segment is lying below the indifference, below the budget line, that means Charlie can definitely afford them. So the answer here is yes. Moving on to the next part, which says, can Charlie afford any bundles that give him the utility of 300? Here black indifference curve gives Charlie the utility of 300. And since it is lying completely or entirely above the budget line that means this level of utility is not affordable for charlie so the answer here is no because only those combinations are affordable by charlie which lie on his budget line or below his budget line moving on to the next part which says on your graph mark a point that charlie can afford and that gives him a higher utility than 150 and label that point as a Firstly, the question says two things here. We want the utility of higher than 150 and we want all the points that Charlie can afford. The points that give you, uh, Charlie the utility of higher than 150 are these points, the one I have shaded in. Here you cannot include the indifference curve because that gives Charlie the utility of 150 but we want it to be higher than that. So your indifference curve is excluded out of this representation. The second is we want all those points that Charlie can afford would be all these points, these red shaded region. The intersection of the two is this green region where your indifference curve is not included, but your budget line is included because any point on the budget line would be affordable by Charlie. And since this segment of the budget line is lying above the indifference curve, that means that is giving him the higher level of utility than 150. Now you can pick any point from this green region. Suppose I pick this point and let's label that point to be A. That was this for this part. Now let's move on to the next part, which says neither of the indifference curve that you drew is tangent to the Charlie's budget line. Let's try to find the one that is. At any point xa comma xv, Charlie's marginal rate of substitution is a function of xa and xv. In fact, if you calculate the ratio of marginal utilities for Charlie's utility function, you will find that Charlie's marginal rate of substitution is M MRS, which is the function of xa comma xv, which is equal to minus of xb divided by xa. This is the slope of his indifference curve at xa comma xv. The slope of the Charlie's budget line is dash and we need to find a numerical answer for it. From the previous part, you must recall that your budget line had the equation of xa plus 2xb which is equal to 40. Slope of budget line is nothing but the ratio of prices. That would in our case would be the price of apple divide by the price of bananas the price of apple is nothing but one and the price of bananas is two that means the slope of budget line is minus one divided by two so here the answer is minus one divided by two
was all for this video